Hello. I hope your fluting is going fabulously. So caprice number four in the 24 caprice challenge. You've already had three really brilliant um, tutorials and so I would say to apply those great bits of knowledge to this one and everything that comes your way in the future. Really amazing tips. But for number four, I suppose in particular there are just three things I want to quickly tell you about which is uh, where to breathe, digging out the phrase structure and adding in your own dynamics. So I have asthma and that makes breathing kind of stressful all the time anyway. But when you're faced with um, a study like this where there's no rests, it kind, of, it kind of makes me work even harder to try and work out where to breathe. And so I would say points one and two, so phrasing and breathing go hand in hand here. So what I do first is I take it massively under tempo, that crotch at equals 60, and I am going to just play the first note of every beat to try and find my what's underneath all of these twiddly notes. <laughs> I can really feel this sort of weight on beats one and three leading on to the next bar all the time. Breathing wise, I try and give myself a whole beat so that I can stay as relaxed as possible and I'm not sort of topping up with this sort of shallow breath, which with a piece this long will only lead to sort of some throat tension and, and not really enjoying what you're doing. So when I'm up to uh, bringing out that phrase structure, putting in all the other notes, um, I'm still giving myself a whole beat to take a breath. I'm trying to keep that breath as quiet as possible. 
Um, and then I will move up to trying to give that breath only half a beat and try and maintain as much as possible that relaxation. <laughs> And then the breath goes right with the phrase and it feels natural. Um, it can be frustrating if you're practicing with a metronome and try, <gasps> trying to keep your breathing up with it, but I would just say, just try and relax. Take a whole beat off the metronome when you need to take a breath. It's also a solo piece, so you have time to really diminish. Maybe you heard that on the second page. I took a lot of time and it's a little bit indulgent in doing that. Um, so the third thing is um, some dynamics. So we've only given a forte at the beginning and then a, a little crescendo at the very end. Perhaps you have a different edition, I'm not sure. Um, so I would say add some drama. Um, don't keep it the same all the time. So if, if you can do the whole thing a couple times with only the first note of every beat, then you can really find this beautiful melody that's coming through and try some things out. So use your pencil, of course. Uh, I think I tried maybe four, four different ways of, of playing phrases and then I just sort of did probably 80% I had pre-decided before I recorded it and then the other 20% I just sort of felt the vibe in the moment. So yeah, make it dramatic, make it lovely, make it something that you could perform as, as part of a concert. Good luck with the rest!